Hi, and welcome back to another episode of History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, Owen Chow, and today is one of my favorite type of episodes where I get to show and tell uh, some different uh, CDs for you today. And uh, what better time, what better place in front of my CD uh, collection here. Okay, another really popular anime that uh, we would do the subtitles for is Maison Ikaku. Okay, that's the second series that uh, we did the uh, full subtitles for. Uh, okay, now uh, I'm not going to go over the Maison Ikaku CDs themselves because there's so many of them uh, by themselves. But I'm just going to go through some of the art, uh, you know, the artists that kind of uh, you know was influenced um, me to go and search for some more artists uh, based on the music from Maison Ikaku. Okay, now one of those very fam uh, famous and popular artists that uh, uh, came out of uh, Maison Akaku is a band called Anzin Shitai. Okay, now these guys, uh, they are known for the uh, uh, about for Suki Sa. Alright, now once I heard that song, I really really like that song. It's, you know, it's a nice song, uh, sort of a uh, theme song. So I went out and got all the Anzin Shitai CDs. Now, the, the, the cool thing about Anzin Shitai is uh, they weren't really creative with the names of their CDs. So they just basically went, you know, uh, used Roman numerals corresponding to the number of CDs they released. So this is Anzin Shitai I, which is, you know, one. And then here's, you know, Anzin Shitai two or II, I, right? This is Anzin Shitai uh, three, okay. You know, on Shitai four. Uh, this is a double CD, which is on Shitai five. Okay, uh, on Shitai six. On Shitai seven. On Shitai eight, okay. Now, the, the, I'll see this last one here. This one is called I Love You Kana Hajima, okay. And the reason why this is, if you're, you know, Kind of want to see hear all the different things. This is sort of their uh, best vocal collection kind of thing. It has all the all the best hits on there. Um, of course, you know it has Sukisa uh, on there. Uh, it also has one of their very most popular songs, uh, uh, "Wine Red No Kokoro." Okay. Now, uh, the, po the popular thing about this one, uh, especially in, uh, in the uh, Chinese crowd, okay, um, uh, Alan Tam does a version of. Uh, You'll see that on a lot of karaoke It has the basis of that song here, Red Wine no Kohoro, okay? But it also has a lot of other you know, good so uh, songs on there that, that, that you want to take a look at, listen to. Uh, the one that's what I really like on this one. Prussian, oh, you know, Prussian blue. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, right? Also in that Maison on a Kaku set um, is the final uh, opening theme song. Uh, so basically for the final set uh, for Maison on a Kaku. The opening theme song, okay, it's done by a person named Kozu uh, Murashita, okay, and the song is Hidamarai, okay, so this is the actual CD for that, um, Kozu Murashita and Hidamarai, all right, and, uh, you know, so also in searching out his name, um, I also picked up some other CDs of his, okay, there's this one here, this is Shin Nihon Kikuku, and this is uh, uh, Utopoi 2, okay. And this is all basic variations of all, you know his type of music, so it's like that kind of thing. Uh, another one of my favorite bands from the Maison Ikaku series is Picasso. Okay, now uh, Picasso does the, the uh, song Cinema. Okay, there's the CD for uh, Cinema uh, there from Picasso. All right. Now the funny thing about the Picasso. Uh, Video. If you actually uh, look up the uh, the PV for that particular thing, is um, it's always kind of a funny thing. Is is that uh, it should be really uh, made as a public service announcement 
of uh, what you should tell your uh, you know daughter to do, uh, not to do. Okay, yeah. And if you, you know, just to give you a precursor, it's basically this girl, basically you know, a little girl, basically follows the three members of of the Picasso rap. So you know, this should be one of those uh, stuff that uh, you know, don't follow three strange guys around, especially if they sing to you. All right. So kind of something we want to check out. But anyway, so in addition to, to, to singing cinema, they also sing another image uh, song called uh, uh, Suna No Altair, okay? And it's on this particular CD uh, called Photograph, okay? And you'll find that song also on the uh, Maison Akaku uh, CD collection box set. And you'll find out that that's one of the image songs for uh, Maison Akaku. And it's on this particular CD. Also check that one out. Okay, Suna No Altair, okay? They also do uh, some other CDs, so I was, you know, checking out to see what other songs does Picasso sing. They also do this particular one, okay? This is called The um, uh, the Mystery of the Diamond Moon, all right? And this is their self-titled Picasso by Picasso, all right? And, of course, also this one called uh, Cinema, all right? So there's also cinemas on this particular CD as well, okay? So Picasso's Cinema. Okay, another game CD that uh, I like to make a recommendation for. Um, there's one of the games that we, you know I played a lot of, and uh, you know went to some pretty extreme uh, you know uh, things to go around to actually play it. Um, was this particular this particular one? Okay, Par Par Paradise. Now a lot of people you know will say that this is you know again part of the Super Eurobeat series of CDs again, so really you know high energy dance type music. Um, they made an arcade game for this thing, which basically uses uh, you know light um, dance dance revolution instead of using your feet, you're using your hands. And um, again, at the, uh, you know, in the beginning, you know I wasn't really really good at DDR, um, but so uh, you know I, but I decided okay we'll start with this uh, you know this par par machine that came up, and uh, so you know you, you know you do a lot of hand motions and um, you know the things that to follow um, the, the you know the game. Um, so I kept playing this game, and then realized that uh, you know uh, the there's a dance mode which allows you to to, to mimic the dancers that, that are on the uh, uh, the screen and uh, do the proper moves. But like well, but like the most of us, we make the game harder. So I, I kept jacking up the, the speed to hard, and then to, of course to expert, and then you know basically our little group of, uh, of, of uh, friends you know, kept going to the arcades, uh, playing this game. Uh, and try to uh, and try to make sequences for these extra expert modes um, for that. And uh, again, my you know, my favorite songs out of this one is uh, 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 you know um, Burning Desire, um, Kingdom of Rock, uh, another really popular one that I, that I made a really good routine for. Um, you know, I always like Try Me because uh, you know, it always reminds me of the you know, Nami Merle type song. Uh, again, really high energy dancing type music. If you're interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, again, check this one out, Power Power Paradise. Uh, if you check my website, uh, uh, I was also the, the person who bought the Power Power Paradise machine from CHQ out of Metro Town. Uh, I'm the person who has that machine right now. And so again, yeah, that's one of my uh, big game purchases, the arcade, the whole arcade machine for Power Power Paradise. I'm a big fan of Japanese J-pop uh, music as well and so uh, you know again most of my influences for uh, the music that I like it you know comes from anime but some suggest is okay well what kind of uh, you know idol singer idol star kind of, uh, person do you do, do you like and what kind of songs do you, you know do you recommend for that um, the one that I have to recommend uh, right at the top of my list um, is a woman named Shizuka Kudo okay uh, this is a kind of a song collection uh, CDs uh, for uh, she's a good one. Now, of course, she releases a lot of stuff, okay? But the, uh, you know, my main uh, a anime influence of, you know, the kind of really got me into this uh, is uh, she does uh, the song Blue Velvet, uh, which is the opening theme song for uh, Dragon Ball uh, GT, okay? Okay, here, okay? Here's another one that she does where she collaborates with uh, uh, the guy from, uh, from uh, the tunnels and uh, uh, ASAP. Kiss. It's a really um, provocative uh, music video, I think. But yeah, 
Um, again, I, I really, uh, my favorite songs out of her, uh, 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 her selection is, of course, uh, you know, the Dragon Ball GT song. But um, my favorite one is one called Mugen, uh, Mugo N, okay? Uh, no Iropi. Uh, she uh, did a, several versions. That's one of her early songs. And, and she, you know, she has a, a very uh, a cute sort of a, 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 a cute little look to her. Uh, when she does that particular song. But the interesting thing about that one is that on um, uh, multiple occasions, um, she has a, a blooper in that song. Where uh, the, uh, I know on an episode of uh, Best Ten, uh, she uh, forgot where she was in the song. There's also a song in Korea that she did, where again she almost you know, forgot which part of the song she was in um, when she comes back out of the break. And um, there's a, a, also a, a, a version that she does on um, uh, the uh, uh, Countdown TV uh, version where she's uh, the, the, the microphone fed back on her. And so uh, if you wonder w w why she holds uh, uh, the microphone above like this and puts her hand above it during the, 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 the instrumental part, is that the way it prevents her from actually uh, feeding back the microphone. You also notice that she also uh, uh, speaks a different part of that particular song uh, uh, quietly while she sings uh, that part there again, blocking off her, blocking off her mic. Another one of the video games I spent a lot of time playing uh, on the PC Engine, of course, is uh, Graduation and Debut. Okay, so this is another one of these um, uh, simulators where you play the teacher and you're basically trying to. Um, you know, uh, have an influence on your students in this particular game. So, um, this particular game is called Graduation, okay? Or Sochigo, Sochigo Yo uh, Graduation, right? So, this is the uh, uh, OEVA series one called Teach Me Please, okay? And uh, this is the actual OEVA soundtrack, okay? Uh, for that one, which also contains the, you know, the ending theme song for uh, Graduation, all right? Now the OEVA had two parts for the first part, which is the, the graduation OEVA part. They made a second part called Sailor Victory. Okay, so this is basically the girls, uh, you know, you know, as part of a Japanese defense team using giant robots to defend the country type of thing. Okay, so this is the soundtrack for the uh, Sailor V part of the series, OEVA series. They also made uh, a series of CD dramas, okay? So these are the different uh, CD dramas, uh, one, two, and three, for that graduation series. Um, again, uh, you know, these girls will go through different, you know, different things uh, about, you know, you know, their, you know whatever their, their teenage life. So they're, they're getting tired from studying. They're not motivated. Um, you know, they, they're depressed because of one reason or another. They're, they're overworked, so they're tired. Um, you know, their their grades are are, are are going down, so they're, they're you know they're, they're they're sad. So you have to so you as the teacher are supposed to help them out. So you you can give them gifts, you can um, you know give them encouragement, you can you know help tutor them. Uh, you know you basically um, you know you you have to make decisions when you go on, for, for example, field trips and vacations and that kind of stuff. You have to make choices. Um, there's, there's obviously things like uh, there, there's a uh, the class has to do a play and you have to select which character um, will do the best part of the play and you want to obviously make it so that the play is successful so again you want to make sure you pick the right personalities to be the right um, you know, people in the game and uh, so the fun part about the game is you know when you get to the end you know you get the ending sequence where you know does the uh, you know the girls graduate and you know you know become part of the workforce, or did they graduate and get married with somebody or whatever? And so you know, I, you know again, I didn't perfectly understand, um, you know, the, 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 like the like the written text and, uh, uh, of what happens to the actual girls. Uh, but all I know is that if you get the the married picture, then that means they got married off uh, to somebody. Now, the trick about it is. Um, after the marriage sequence, you get the, you know, uh, sort of like yeah, the, the grading of how good of a teacher you are. And you get like this stamp um, uh, on your, you know, on your record, I guess, uh, on the screen. 
and um, uh, one of the things that you can get is if you ended up, if the girls end up getting married, okay, there's a chance that the girl the, the, or your student falls in love with you, the teacher, and she gets married to you, and in which case then you get the stamp of the, you know, uh, you're the scum of the earth and, uh, you, uh, and you get like a bad rating on your on your teacher card. And of course, you know, that was the ending that uh, I always tried to get for because that's probably one of the hardest endings to, you know, to get to. Uh, but yeah, definitely, that was one of the fun parts of the game there. Um, the other half of the game that came out, uh, in addition to the sequels for Graduation 2, um, was one called Debut, okay? So these are the uh, you know, soundtrack CDs for Debut, Act 1. And uh, two, these are the two drama CDs, and then this is the vocal collection for debut. Uh, these ones are particularly good ones because in this game, you're the manager, uh, and these are sort of like your you know buddy idol stars, okay? And again, in this game, uh, like graduation, you are supposed to control uh, their schedule, so you know you have to again keep them motivated, keep them happy. You know if you need to you know, give them gifts and. And things like that. Then you do that. You need to, you know, push them along to, you know, to bring them over to, you know, singing class or acting class or do exercises. You gotta make sure they're on time for like their, you know, the interviews and music shoots and and all that kind of stuff. And this is really good because, again, because it's an idol singing type of, uh, you know, um, show and uh, again, uh, game. Um, you know, it has lots of really good music. So again, check this one out. Debut. 